Hello, and welcome to the Professional Certification Channel. Today, we are going to explore how to implement Lean and Six Sigma in healthcare. Introduction to Lean and Six Sigma in healthcare Lean and Six Sigma are methodologies that help organizations improve efficiency by eliminating waste and reducing variability. Lean focuses on optimizing workflows and removing unnecessary steps while Six Sigma aims to reduce errors and improve quality by addressing process variations. In healthcare, these methodologies are used to enhance patient care, streamline operations, and reduce costs without compromising quality. Phase 1. Define Step 1. Identify the problem. Start by defining clear and specific problems in healthcare processes. Gather input from stakeholders including patients, healthcare providers, and administrative staff to understand pain points. Step 2. Set objectives. Define what success looks like for the project. Objectives should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound smart. Step 3. Form a project team. Assemble a team with diverse expertise, including clinicians, operations staff, and a Six Sigma expert. This team will drive the project from start to finish. Phase 2. Measure Step 1. Map the process. Use tools like flowcharts and value stream mapping to visualize the current process. This helps in identifying bottlenecks and wasteful steps. Step 2. Collect data. Gather data on the current performance of the process. Metrics might include patient waiting times, medication errors, or resource utilization rates. Step 3. Establish baseline metrics. Define baseline performance metrics against which improvements will be measured. Use data analysis tools to understand process capabilities and areas of variability. Phase 3. Analyze. Step 1. Identify root causes. Use tools such as fishbone diagrams and the five whys technique to analyze data and identify root causes of inefficiencies. Step 2. Explore solutions. Brainstorm potential solutions to address the root causes. Prioritize solutions based on impact and feasibility. Step 3. Conduct impact analysis. Evaluate how proposed changes will affect other parts of the system. Consider both positive impacts and potential unintended consequences. Phase 4. Improve. Step 1. Pilot solutions. Implement solutions on a small scale to test their effectiveness. This could involve trialing a new patient scheduling system or changing the layout of a nursing station. Step 2. Analyze pilot results. Measure the outcomes of the pilot projects against the baseline data. Adjust the solutions based on feedback and data. Step 3. Implement changes. Roll out successful solutions across the organization. Ensure all staff are trained on new procedures. Phase 5. Control. Step 1. Monitor outcomes. Continuously monitor the processes to ensure that improvements are sustained. Use control charts and regular audits to track performance. Step 2. Standardize successful practices. Develop standard operating procedures, SOPs, for the improved processes. Train staff across the organization to follow these SOPs. Step 3. Plan for continuous improvement. Encourage a culture of continuous improvement by regularly reviewing processes and incorporating feedback from all stakeholders. Conclusion Lean and Six Sigma offer powerful tools for healthcare organizations to improve efficiency and patient care. By following the steps outlined in this guide, healthcare providers can implement these methodologies to identify inefficiencies, reduce variability, and improve the overall patient experience. Success requires commitment from all levels of the organization and an ongoing commitment to monitoring and refining processes.